Welcome everyone. Adam DeWu here as the recording of this Saturday, September 3rd, 2022, day number three of Dragon Con. And the most exciting day, it will be the most crowded and the Dragon Con parade starts in 30 minutes. I'm gonna do a variety of other things as well. I'm inviting you. I'm trying to show different things each day that I don't show in the previous days. With the exception of cosplay, there is no escaping it. Join me. Shall we? It is 9.34 at the moment. Parade kicks off at 10 a few blocks away. So I got plenty of time to get stationed, find a spot. And I'll probably walk along the parade route. This street is blocked off, not by stanchions or cones, but by a big dump truck. It's a good way to block a road. City of Atlanta. Oh, look who joined the party. You got Grogu right there. Oh, yeah, Grogu's the cream of the crop, brother. Yeah. I love that. A little creamer. Now, for two years in a row, I was able to drive the Blues Brothers mobile. And I opted out of it this year just because I wanted to film the parade. And every once in a while, I'll jump in the car, but it's been a bit a few years. My friends will be in the car today. So I'm always torn between riding in the vehicle or watching the parade from the street and getting more views of the parade itself and out the window. It's always a tough decision. I usually lean towards just walking the parade route. Right? Maybe I'll get back in the car one year. I was kind of wondering why this area over here was a little less crowded with people standing. You said there's two people here dressed as birds, but it's because up top here are a lot of birds waiting to do their business upon everyone. That's why it's a little thinner over in that section. That is a very tall hat right there. Look at that. That is a, quite the top hat you got there. Thank you. Very nice. Impressive. Almost like a chimney. Panoramic works in up as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> Panoramic upward. Very nice. I'm just having trouble going through the tree down there, hitting the tree limbs. You're welcome. All right, it begins. See the banner really good from here. I've never stood in this spot before. In the past, I've stood right over there on that corner. Truthfully, I think this might be a better spot right here. And here's all the dragons. Even a little doggy there has got the dragon wings on. Love that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Why does that make me so happy? There they are in the Blues Brothers car right there. That's amazing. <laughs> got hit by Evil Knievel. Watch out for Evil Knievel! There's Jeff on the bike playing the Six Flags guy. That's awesome. a good call on Ryan's part walking behind the car. Oh, he just got missed it. And got the Back to the Future DeLorean and Wayne's World rolling by here. Here goes Garth Algar behind the wheel. All right, this is a really good one. Dune, look at this. And moved up the street just a bit to the corner of John Portman and Peach Street. You can see through here, the crowd gets a lot thicker. I don't even know if I could even walk up past that one. Chewbacca right here. Hey, Chew. Good to see you. All right, you got, the, you got a good view up there. You're very, very tall, so you can see up over everyone. Very well, good. I see your uh, um, uh, YouTube videos. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. I've been watching. I watched last year this year. Awesome. Good to meet you, Shuey. Have a good parade, right? Have a good parade at a Dragon Con. There you go. Hey, buddy. Thank you.
there. A bunch of Nicholas Cage's. people down. Anybody that you know, is overheating, he has the spray can and it'll spray anyone that needs spraying. He sprayed her down. He's got a big smile on his face right there. He's smiling. Think it is over there? Oh, Gandalf. Yeah, it's Gandalf. Gandalf. Hey, Willie. That is amazing. All right, now that's pretty dang awesome. This X-wing rolling through here. Oh, and there's Han, frozen in carbonite, and the Jawas, the Jawas vehicle down at the end. Yes, the streets are now filled with lots of Dragon Connies. And I'm one of them, including these two right here. <laughs> yeah, hot. Ah. Ah. Well, are very cumbersome. He's been a real solid time. Thank you. And I walked to the second floor of this resort, going up to where the arrows are pointing, to the complimentary con suite where they have free food, and I hear they have coffee in here as well. And they did have coffee. However, this is not the restroom you're looking for, so you're not allowed to use that restroom. But they did have donuts and coffee and things like that. The con suite, which is located right up here on the top floor of the Hyatt. Did you sign the board out? I signed the board the other day. My, I am up there somewhere. Where am I? Oh, I'm right there. I'm there right you go. Yeah, I'm right oh, there. We're all like right in here. Yeah, I was kind of saying that John is starting to look like the Nature Boy Ric Flair with the, like, you know, just <laughs> complete. There's really hardly anything left that you can see. Me. Well, there's, there's a little empty space down there. Oh, but I still see somebody do this much. little cartoon oh, holding yeah. up his foot. Yeah, I added, I added that at the beginning, the hello down, or the help down at the bottom. Yeah. Here you go, folks. Yeah, look at that. This might be the last time we see John this weekend. Yeah, I'm going to check in with him later. There's a parrot right here. <laughs> you can't even tell what it originally was at this point. Okay, I've added something. Oh, you just you just dropped your glasses. I have added something else to John. My cup from the piping hot caffeinated beverage. It just worked out that he had a little makeshift hand over here that could hold the cup. So it's got a coffee cup in there. If I had a Sharpie on it, I would write coffee on the side of it, but unrecognizable John. I have a nice little collection of Dragon Con shirts. This is my third one that I got a few years ago. And now I got a 2022 version. This is the back. And this is the front of it. It even has the, the date and the year 22 so a little a little souvenir for posterity right here my dragon con shirt i think this is the first one of these shirts that i have it's not tie-dye so my fourth shirt is a non-tie-dye one i didn't see a tie-dye one at the at the store this year i saw one in the vendor room yesterday but in the store that i got this one there wasn't one this is the official shirt all right now walking it's about a mile or so over to the varsity kind of a tradition to always get the varsity after the parade ends every year. I think it was one year I didn't do it, but pretty much I always do the varsity when I go to Atlanta. And instead of driving over or taking Uber or Lyft or anything like that, I decided to walk over. It's about a mile, get my steps in. It's also at the treadmill this morning. I've been doing the treadmill every day at the hotel gym. So I figured I could kind of burn off some calories because I don't think there's any health food at the varsity. So it's kind of a cheat day. Jeff, you think there's any health food at the Varsity? Oh, I'm sure it's all healthy. It's no. All, yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. Not at all. No, but you you no. decided to walk with me as well. Yes. So we're burning off the calories. Yeah, pre-burn and then a post-burn. Yeah, a post. Oh, we're gonna walk back too. So we'll, right. I'll burn off the what probably thousand calories for this meal, At maybe twelve hundred, fifteen hundred. Yeah. Yeah, maybe let's go for twelve. The frosted orange don't count. So a frosted orange is like Oh you're gonna get the frosted orange? Oh you gotta All you right. have to have frosted orange. That okay. one this morning when I pulled in for the parade, it's really Oh good. was it? Yeah. It'd be a great photo op because there's not that many cars out that morning and you didn't just stop and click. Yeah, that's a that's awesome. A little Fox Retro Theater here. And just like that, oh, probably fifteen, I don't know, seventeen minute walk. A brisk walk. The classic. Varsity. How many locations are there? Just the only one? No, no. There's one up on the north side uh, by Jimmy Carter Boulevard. Uh, and then there's a junior one uh, up 400. Okay. There's maybe four. Is there one at the airport also? Yeah, a little one. That's right. Yeah. In, uh, international. Yeah. Okay, nice. And they have gone cashless. A lot of places go cashless. Go cashless. Tropicana Field is now cashless. It's now at 61 North Ave. Same address since 1928. And I kind of feel like I need to get a varsity t-shirt. I wonder if they have other one over here. I'm just looking at the merchandise you got over there. You got the hats. Is that a hot dog on that varsity one? A hot dog, man. That's a kid's shirt. On oh, you don't have that in adult sizes? What's the What's the orange one look like? Oh, it's just the frosted orange. And that's like the drink of choice. That's like that's what everybody's supposed to get. What it's supposed to be, man. Okay. Yes, sir. Do you have that in like a regular large? Uh, we actually are out of large. The closest I got is a. So I like this one, but I don't really want the football player on the front. Of it. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. Established 1928. Looks like someone has put a little impromptu S down there with a shoestring. I don't think that was that might have been on accident. Now the one shirt I wanted, they did not have in my size. Actually, both shirts I, they had, they didn't have them in my size. So someone just went by, by with some mustard. And check out all these dogs eating here at the Varsity Bar. This little pooch is getting a little to-go box. Oh, there's a hot dog. There's a dog eating. There's a dog eating a dog. Here's some famous faces that have been here. Oh, look at this. There's George Bush up there. Jimmy Carter, local Georgia. Yeah, got Obama down here. Oh, Clinton is eating here too. Look at that. No Clinton. There's uh, what's his name from American Idol? What's that guy's name? Uh, I'm drawing a blank. Yeah. Anyway, there's Jeff Foxworthy. All right, looking at the menu, there definitely is no healthy options on here. I could get a hot dog and just take the bun away. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna enjoy what this is for what it is and just go full Dragon Con experience there. Got the bacon cheese, got the chili cheeseburger. I think I'm gonna get chili cheese dog and the burger. I'm gonna do the 1347 one as well. And then I haven't been drinking soda. I've been drinking a lot of water and occasional coffee. But I think I might go with the Tri of Varsity orange drink or a frosted orange shake. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the orange drink because it's like a win in Rome moment. Got to get the orange drink, and then I'm gonna get the chili cheese dog and chili cheeseburger, and I'm gonna go with onion rings. Probably too many calories on what I've been eating, but you know what? Heck it. Cheat that. And this is what we're dealing with. I'm the first one that made it back to the seat and wait everybody else to start consuming, but I wanted to show off. I got the What Do You Have souvenir cup, even though you really, yeah, it's made of paper, so it probably would decompose, but I got the orange down in here, which is, you know, like I said, it's kind of a, a thing you have to do. It's like a rite of passage at the varsity. It looks like there's also have one over in Athens. Athens, fun fact, the home of REM, the band REM, which is, you know, like an hour or so away from here. I think it's about an hour, give or take. I've been there before. Also, the hot dog here with the chili. It's got the mustard on it. I went with the onion rings here. And then, of course, over here, you got the napkins. We also got some ketchup and some extra mustard there as well. And then this is the burger, which appears to have a layer of cheese on it. And is there... Oh yeah, the chili down in there as well. So they're known for their chili. This varsity cap. I don't know if it's really gonna fit on my big noggin very well. Varsity crew? The varsity crew. You can adjust the hat. Not the JV. You gotta adjust the hat. Yeah. Which one's oh, you can adjust it? Yeah, you can adjust it. Yeah, pull it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Oh, you right. broke it. There you go. I got the cap on here. Cap of goodness. It does say front. And I got the food here. And then the what do you have? Thank you. Delicious. 
That might be the thumbnail. I like it. You're good at thumbnails. Is this a good thumbnail? That's a good thumbnail. And thank you, sir. Will people click on it? Don't steal my thumbnail, bro. I won't do the JV thumbnail. Or no, you'll do the, I'll do the JV thumbnail. You'll do the varsity thumbnail. What if I throw you for a loop and don't even use this as a thumbnail? You should just put a picture of an onion ring as your thumbnail. Okay, fair enough, we get that one. There you go. Ooh, that's, that's even better, Jay. <laughs> Here, we got two now. Also, Chris the Girl just learned that they will make you a grilled cheese. Off the menu item. Oh, it's a secret menu. menu. There's your title right there. Secret menu yeah. item at the varsity. Just thanks to Chris the Girl. Yeah. Uh, in and out. I almost said inside out. In and out. Also does that. Yes. Except theirs has like lettuce and everything on it. Uh, animal style. Animal style. Look at these things. I know they Your look great. Your onion rings I look to, interesting. I had to get the onion rings. Yeah. What'd you get, Jeff? Double cheeseburger with bacon, onion ring, fried peach pie, frosted Ooh. orange. Very nice. Peach and this fried. is Ryan's stuff. Ryan's in. Yeah. We got nice. the shake. Ryan's in. Oh, that's awesome. And we all got the orange drinks. You didn't get the orange drink. I got. It's right I here. got a. Go. I got a cherry coke. Nice. That what one. do you have? What do you have? What do you have? Orange soda. Oh, orange you got drink. Tattooed your knuckles. Frosted oh orange. yeah, check it out. Epo. He's driving the Blues Brothers mobile. I had you to show me that earlier, and all I read was AJ. He didn't show me the tamp. And I was like, My name's AJ. Who's AJ? <laughs> AJ Styles. Tampa Jen. All right, Crazy Joe, show me what you got. I ordered two cheese dogs and a burger, and they okay. gave me two burgers and a cheese dog. But that's all right, I won't complain. Yeah, that's pretty, it's still pretty good. Yeah. Is this how it goes? Leave it, that's how it goes. What'd you get, Greg? Show me what you, you got. They also do not have a booth for eight, so we had to split up. What'd you I get? Got the chili cheeseburger, chili cheese, hot dog, and the fries. Nice. You, you look more and more like Conry every day with that beard. You look impressive with that beard on. <laughs> Questing for hamburgers today. It's because he drank from the right holy grail. Put your hat back on. There you go. We got to get a group photo too. Yeah. We got to get a group photo. It's for posterity. Like this. Crazy Joe, where's your hat? You didn't get one? No, you didn't get the memo? Go get your hat, bro. Were they supposed to give it to me? They hand them out. Uh, they're, on the, they're on the desk back there. Ian, Ian got his hat. He knows what's going on. Yeah. We all got hats. You gotta get a hat. If, you're not if Flora and Ryan is not wearing a hat, I'm gonna call him. He's right there. He doesn't have a hat. No, they're one of these. I, I need a big hat for my melon. No, you can. It, it adjusts. It's Sunday religious uh, Sabbath. Seven. Oh, it's the Sabbath. You had to go there. It's the Sabbath. Can't Sabbath. It's Saturday, man. As the recording of this, it's Saturday. Black Sabbath. <laughs> Everyone else is already almost halfway done, and I haven't even started. Too busy. Too busy vlogging. Here, there we go. Frame it up right. <laughs> These onion rings are awesome. Yeah. All right, finish the meal up. I didn't realize it. Two miles of hot dogs, a ton of onions, 2,500 pounds of potatoes, 5,000 fried pies, and 300 gallons of chili are made from scratch daily here at the Varsity in Atlanta. Definitely a tasty treat here at the Varsity. I like this marquee over on this side as well. And now going to walk back over to convention. I'm noticing over here at this church building, this is a pretty cool little tile work of Jesus here. It says, come into me all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. But this is not a painting. This is made out of little tiles. Pretty cool. Yeah, walking back, we're passing this like old mansion here. Look at this place, all fenced off. Could be haunted. Still gets mail. Oh yeah, there's still a mailbox. Now it could just be an illusion, or maybe this really is slanted, almost like a racetrack in a way. It almost looks like this road is slanted, turned just a little bit. I don't think it is. It's just kind of my impression from here. It might not even transcend, show up on camera too well, but I don't know. When I first looked at it, that's what I was thinking. All right, this is looking at it straight on with the camera not tilted. Is this, is the interstate slanted? Doesn't it look like it has a little a lean, lean to it? to it? It's got a little lean on it. You think it has a little lean on it? Think it has a little lean on it? It's 
Looks straight to me. Looks straight to you? I think it has a little lean. It's just like this. I don't know. I think I'm going insane. Now you may think I'm crazy, Joe. I'm really out of the woo. But you might think I'm crazy, crazy Joe, but that is leaning. It's leaning. It's, it's like a yeah. level like that. It's on a Dutch angle. I don't know what that is. Words. I, I think instead of I-75, they should call it I lean. Oh! Come on! Come on! Come on! They are locking in something here. Something is being locked in. I don't know what. The Rancor, maybe? I don't see the Rancor in there, though. And now it's closed. Up, oh, got Walt Disney here as well. Mickey, the got, got the partners right here. Walt, you even have the name tag on. Absolutely. Awesome. Good to see you, Walt. Yeah, they uh, finally let me out of cryo. Oh, okay. Is that how that worked? All right. You're unfrozen. That's uh, that's what helps with the aging. I gotcha. Good to see you, Walt. And not only Figment, but also Dreamfinder here as well. Oh, hello, Figment. Good to see you. Awesome. Okay, after years of saying I'm going to do it and meet William Shatner, I've decided to go ahead and pay the $120. Now, I've got a photo with him, me and everyone that was here a few years ago at Dragon Con got the photo. But I think I'm going to go ahead and get this signed. $120? It's a little bit of money, but you know what? It's Captain Kirk, Kingdom of the Spiders, TJ Hooker, all that, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Okay, I accomplished my goal that I've been saying I'm gonna do for years. I got Shatner here, I even got it customized to Adam. And I also slightly persuaded Greg to also get his. I mean, you were gonna do it, but I kind of was like, now's the time. You convinced you like, me. Yeah, you're like, I'm gonna do it too. So we both got, you got a different, you got, we both got you know, the original series as well. You got the classic pose in the captain's chair. And then I got his first appearance in the original yep. series right here. And I also, we're showing this here because someone has replaced the face on John. <laughs> Not really sure why, but now John has got a big sticker over his face, which is kind of interesting, but like, I think once something's placed on there, it's is just it, there, this is, is how it is. Is it even John anymore if it has a different face? Maybe it's William. Maybe it's, uh, it could be William. This is the first time, besides my Dawn of the Dead and Back to the Future poster, that I've got like 20 or 25 autographs on each. It's like a work in progress. This is the first time I've gotten like an 8x10 signed, I think by anyone, maybe ever. It's just not usually what I do, but you know, it's William Shatner, so gotta do it. Okay, we're going over to the food court to get a coffee. So my question is now, I have to, you are, out of all the friends that I have, you are the biggest, knowledgeable, most biggest Star Trek fan of the original Don't series. Put me on the spot now. So how do you feel now that you have met William Shatner? You talked about it for a long time. Do you feel good about it? I do. I mean, when, other, when else are you going to get a chance to meet William Shatner? I mean, he's a legend. And there was no one, I think where he is, he's not in the Walk of Fame, he's not in the celebrity room. No, no one knows where his booth is. I went in there first, talked about Kingdom of the Spiders for a good one or two minutes, Yeah. one on one, and then I went out, he said, how was it? And I go, Now's the time. Whatever you ask him, he will answer. So what did you ask him? Um, or told him? I told him that I have a uh, Captain Kirk standee from Star Trek VI in the game room. And he kind of lit up and he told this story about how, who was it, a lady who used that to uh, ward off... Uh, like she was, she lived alone and she had a stand-up of Shatner in her house as like a guardian. As a guardian. So we yeah. had a story about your stand-up and you told him that you played video games with yeah, him. Yeah, I, I told I said, um, I'm always playing uh, games with the uh, standee, uh, Commodore 64 games, and he like smiled because he remembered the Commodore 64. Nice. And then I told him he liked his Priceline commercial. <laughs> oh, can't go that way. It's locked. None shall pass. This is not the correct one. All right. This is not the one the droids were looking for. It's not the way? This is not the way. <laughs> all right, we have all stopped for some coffee. We all need a little caffeine here. It is a Choosing Boo. It's about, what is this, Carpe Diem this AM, even though it's like late afternoon? It is. And uh, what's the front of your side? This is Caribou Coffee right here. Caribou. What you got with it, iced coffee? I Piping cold. A piping Icy cold. Icy cold caffeinated oh, You guys got iced coffee, iced coffee. Life is short, stay awake for it. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Life's too short, stay awake for it. Yeah. Stay in school. This is interesting. I have never been through this tunnel before. Never through this tunnel. It's a secret tunnel. And it's kind of neat because, look, you can you can look outside of the tunnel. There's no windows there at all. You can't leave them like that. Okay, Joe. 
<laughs> Joe, hurry up. We're going to miss the elevator. That was good. Yeah. That was a good spot. All right. Take a look at this thing. That is something else. I gotta be honest though, I really don't even know what that is. And always out here on these steps is always different theme cosplays going on. Pretty much the entire convention. I haven't seen Wendy in a while, you know? What happened to Wendy? Oh, uh, I bashed her brains in. Oh, well, okay. All right. Here's... Here's Johnny! All right, take care, Mr. Torrance. We got they live. Oh, put it on! Oh, he's got Put the on the glasses! <laughs> or, or the mat, or the, or the face recovery. I'm off three, they can see me. All right, I got a little Thank no you. independent thought dollar here consumed by John Carpenter's They Live, oh, wow. way ahead of its time. Obey, obey. All right, I got this one with one of the characters from They Live with the Obey, obviously. Love that movie, John Carpenter. Also got Rosemary's Baby. And look, I'm trying to look terrified in all the photos, keep up with the theming, and then Carrie as well. They're all gonna laugh at you. I remember all I think about the Adam Sandler. Also, this really good Leatherface from the new Leatherface, which I have not seen the 22 Leatherface yet. But you know, I love the 70s version and I love the Canon films Part Two and all that. And then the Renee Zellweger Part Three. It's, they're all kind of campy and weird in their own way. Of course, the first and second one are my my two favorites. And then of course, Kathy Bates character from Misery, looking horrified. And some Beetlejuice characters there as well. We got so we got Art the Clown and Pinhead. Pretty good. I got got a, got a few few photos there. So. Take, try to take more photos. I always forget to do that. I'm always so busy filming, but that's some good photos. Go up, to levels, up to level 47 floors up. And looking out over downtown Atlanta, the Goodyear blimp is up there kind of looks just like above almost every building. I think the Weston might be a little, maybe the same height, maybe a little bit taller, but there is the Goodyear blimp off in the distance. Now, even though there are all these railings, it really does not offer much consol or, uh, consolation or I don't even know the word. I'm losing track of my words here because look at this freaking no way we are up here coke. no one's up here no line no queue this is the best coke because it's 47 floors high what are you guys looking out the window at stone mountain stone mountain georgia what are you looking at greg oh, what are you looking at greg looks like somebody's camping out on the top of the building down <laughs> oh there. no what oh yeah they are there's somebody living on top of the roof that's oh. actually a good idea all right, John has been added to. Got the varsity cap on now. Also has the They Live dollar there. Of course, that's not John's face anymore. I think that's Nicholas Cage up top. More stuff has been added down here, including some potatoes and a Bud Light and things like that. Okay, we've kind of just rooted all around. We're now back over inside the Hyatt, which I like to call the Big Martini Glass. And you know, since I'm kind of already off the rails today with the weight loss and whatnot, I've been doing really good the last couple weeks. Let me get some sushi. It's also part of over in the over in the food court. Yep, yummy yummy sushi. This is a rite of passage also for well, it's kind of tradition for all of us here at Dragon Con. So we're kind of doing two two traditions in one day: yummy yummy and the varsity. A little bit of a lie. Little bit of a lie. And it's also about 7 p.m. So definitely have. It's been a little while since lunch. So I think and, and walked a lot. So I think I've burned a lot of this off. At least I hope I have. All right. This is what we're dealing with. Part two. Actually, yeah, quite a quite a bit. A little little a little bit of everything down inside of here. I got a, some different different sushi rolls. I got a little potatoes here. I got some noodles. I got some fry. Not fry, but some some steamed veggies and whatnot, some California rolls, some Philly rolls, we got a little shrimp on top of this rice. $27 later, this is weighed by the pound. But, I, you know, it's like, it's like I said, it's a rite of passage. You kind of have to do it at Dragon Con. You don't have to, but I chose to. And I got my chopsticks, got some wasabi somewhere in here, wedged inside of here, and then I got my soy sauce down here. Yeah, if you're gonna have a day that things kind of go off the rails, you might as well do two of the quintessential Dragon Con. I am really soaking this in here in one day. That's a, that's a lot of... Today. It's a $30 sushi platter. That's you right. guys went a little lighter than I did? 30 bucks. I figured this is another win in Rome moment. Oh, I just yeah. went ahead and just loaded up right You're here. Since I do this once a year, I see some low made. What did you get, Ryan? Uh, I've got a couple of hamburgers in here. Everyone with the old deep deal? Excuse me, was there something on the table before you 
I want, right. Tell me exactly how much this was, Greg. I went heavy on chicken, but uh, yeah. with the Coke, 17 bucks. 17 bucks with the Coke? Okay. Yeah. So it's based on weight. So I think probably the broccoli in this probably really weighed it down. I Just think like the, brownie the noodles it. probably weighed it down. I so figure, it's gotta be a theory. Go ahead. I was gonna say, I figure if I'm gonna spend any money, I'm gonna get the good stuff. So that's why I went, yeah. that's why I went, to, went with the chicken. Yeah, you know Gene Wilder's right over your shoulder there. What? Yeah, Willy Wonka's right there. That's the one that gave me the gobstopper. Yeah. Oh, he gave you the gobstopper? Yeah, he's the one. I wonder how much his shoe, shoe, shoe she cost. <laughs> shoe she his cost. shoe shine. Huh? Shoe shine cost. It cost the Willy Wonka chicken. right there. Nice. You lose, sir! Good day. Sir. You, I said good day, sir! Nothing. That's what they said when I. That's what I said when I rang this up. They said when I rang this up. <laughs> they said, "Good day, sir." That's gonna cost you a golden. Ticket. You lose, sir. How much was that, Ryan? Uh, the whole meal see, between myself and the boy over there, we were at about uh, twenty-seven dollars. That's a good call. Two people for the same price is what I paid for this. You know what, can we take a moment to say uh, in our fallen comrade, Jacob, who I believe, uh, he's the one that got us going with this, $70 accidentally once he spent on sushi. Jacob the carpetbagger spent 70 bucks on so sushi. I believe it. He's the record carpetbagger. We should probably, next time he comes here, we should try to get him to, to spend a cool hundy. <laughs> All right, now with a really full belly, stopping off over here at the Joystick Game Bar, classic arcade bar and disco pretty dang cool there is no charge to get in whatsoever and no charge for the games themselves all you have to have is a dragon con id to get in and you are just in and you have to be old enough to get into the bar so probably 21 and up but once you're in here it's all free play here in downtown Atlanta, about a block from the convention itself. The only problem is it's so busy in here, it's really hard to even get one of the machines that you really want. I played a few of the video games, but some of the ones I really wanted to play had a lot of people around them with kind of a, I won't say a wait list, but there was even some machines where there were five and six people just kind of like over, kind of, kind of, reminded, of reminded me of Last Starfighter, where everyone's like, everyone from the trailer park is like watching him trying to beat the game in The Last Starfighter which is kind of cool to see in 2022, old school arcade games from the 80s, you know, watching it like that, pretty cool. But all in all, definitely a very cool vibe inside the Joystick Dragon Con Classic Arcade Bar in Disco. Yeah, we always see interesting things going down the escalator. Anytime I see, you know, anyone going down the escalator, including these dinosaurs, I think of the movie Man With One Red Shoe, when Tom Hanks is leaving the airport and they choose him. I wonder if that dinosaur has one red shoe on. I don't know. Probably not. All right, there are a bunch of Mandalorians right here. All posing. Aliens. Call me at 1-800-ALIENS. We need proof. I mean, more proof. <laughs> I don't know who to believe. They invented Teflon. They invented Georgia. They invented concrete in the pyramids. The Earth is flat and also hollow. And that's going to do it for today from downtown Atlanta, the home of Dragon Con. The end of a Saturday evening. Heading back to my hotel, going to rest my eyes and my weary feet. I wonder how many steps I did today. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. 20,113. That's about standard the last few days. Been knocking about 20 thousand plus you know plus the treadmill today i did the bike the treadmill was all full but yeah you can also follow along with my instagram kind of gym hotel gym or even i'm back home in celebration or you know i'll be gone for a while so when i do these hotel gyms on my instagram adam the woo atw on instagram